day, forty nights. So hey guys, Reverend Moses here, back on Thursday, March the 11th, a year since we began the COVID shutdown. So uh, today we're going to be gathering as clergy uh, at lunchtime uh, on Facebook to recognize that uh, really important and crazy anniversary. It's something I don't think any of us would ever have thought would go so long. I remember when they announced it first, I said, ah, they'll probably come out with a shot for that and we'll be back in church before June. So anyway, uh, nevertheless, I'm here to do another Lenten devotion, and uh, today it's part three of uh, that uh, question we had the other day. We had, how do you pray? Why do you pray? And today's question, uh, which is kind of the last part of this question, is, uh, does God listen? How do we know? How do we know that God listens when we pray? So I'm going to answer that here, and then I got to hop onto my little video meeting. So I'm going to set the clock. I actually have my clock in the back here today that I'll show you. Uh, so I'll start the stopwatch now. How do we know God is listening when we pray? Because Jesus said he does. Now that's pretty easy, but even God himself said he does. If you go back in the Old Testament, uh, it says a lot of times whenever God approaches one of his new prophets or his messengers that he picks, uh, he very often says, I have heard the cries of my people, or I have heard my people call to me, or something like that. The Psalms even say that. And in all those cases, the idea that my people are crying out for help, praying for help, so he hears them. And he sends messengers to help with that. But Jesus himself even said that. At the funeral of his friend Lazarus in the Gospel of John, he puts a little shawl over his head, looks up to the sky and says, uh, Father, I know you hear me. I thank you for having heard me. I always know you hear me. But I'm saying this out loud for the sake of everybody gathered here so they know you're hearing me. So he did it publicly. But he didn't just say that because I, see, I can hear somebody say in the background, in the back of the room, hey, wait now, but you know, that's Jesus being heard. What about everybody? I mean, yeah, so he hears Jesus' prayers. What about everybody else? Fair question. Uh, it's the idea that when he says that, when he says that God hears his prayers, well, what about the rest of us? Well, Jesus says something about that too. He was delivering a big speech up on a mountain called the Beatitudes. That's what we call it. And it's a long speech. But when he was delivering it, right in the towards the end of it, he says something that is very popular and famous amongst Christian folks. Ask, and it will be given unto you. Seek, and you will find. Knock, and the door will be open to you. For everyone who receives, uh, asks will receive. For everyone who searches, finds. And for everyone who knocks, the door will be open. Now, in some ways, you could take that to mean, so when you pray and ask for stuff, you'll get stuff, right? Now, for the record, God is not a genie. You know, it's not three wishes and poof, what do you need? Poof, what do you need? Poof, what do you need? Like Aladdin. Uh, it's... It could be referring to the fact that that little statement he's saying is that this is what you're supposed to be doing, the example you set. So it's the idea if somebody asks for help, you should do it, and same that you would want for yourself. So that's fair too. But then Jesus goes on again. And as a matter of fact, we're about to celebrate Palm Sunday in a couple of weeks' time, whether it's online or not. And on that occasion, when he was actually in Jerusalem, celebrated, riding the donkey, and everybody flailing proms around and everything else, he says right there to the people gathered, whatever you ask for in prayer, this is in the Gospel of Mark, whatever you ask for in prayer, believe that you have received it, and it will be yours. But he stresses after that, that you have to forgive others just as God forgives you. So it's the idea that if you wish to have God do something for you. You have to make that happen in the world as well. You have to give as much as you receive. And this is something Jesus always said in his career. But does God hear our prayers when we pray to him? Yes. God said it. Jesus said it. And I'm saying it. So yeah. Okay. So that's... Wow. We are... <laughs> okay. Okay. Three minutes. It would have been three minutes on the button, except for I was about to turn off my camera instead of my clock. So, whoops. <laughs> but anyway, so that was a three-minute answer to say basically that, yes, God does hear our prayers. I have a question to add to that. So even though I said this was a three-parter, I have a part four, like a, a secret uh, 
kind of like one of those things you'd see in the credits of a show where it's like a, a secret ending or something. Something to add to it that I'm going to answer tomorrow. And tomorrow's question is, how does God answer our prayers? And is it what we think it is kind of a question. So I'll answer that tomorrow because we're running a bit long here today. But stay safe. Pray safe, guys. And I hope that helps with your questions. And keep sending them. Send some more items, too. Those are fun. Anyway, God bless.